Hi everyone, my name's Electric Donkey and welcome to a Game Maker tutorial. Um, to start off, I'm not feeling great, I've got a bit of a cold, so I apologise now if I cough or, you know, whatever, midway through, and I might sound a bit weird, but again, it's just because I've got a bit of a blocked up throat and nose and stuff. But, yeah, we are back on our sandbox, so... I did do an outro on this, I did, you know, finalise this off and everything, um, but some people asked me, you know, how would you do enemies, um, and enemies are actually quite an interesting thing to do, because I've actually made them already, so it's just a matter of putting them in, uh, which we're going to do in this video, so we're going to have enemies running all over the place. They won't do any damage or anything, uh, but that is really easy, you can do that yourself, I'm pretty sure. If you can't, uh, shoot it down in the comments. And I will um, write some code out for that, it's pretty easy. Um, so yeah, let's uh, just refresh your memories, open it up again. Because it has been quite a while since I did the uh, outro, so just refresh my mind a bit. And your minds maybe as well, because it's a bit of a gap. So here we are in our beautiful world. But you know, there's no enemies which we need to sort out. It's a bit laggy as well. Uh, it's probably just because I'm recording in the background. Uh, also, I did notice there's a glitch where you can actually place blocks in blocks. Uh, it's pretty bad. So let's just go sort that quickly, just on the fly. Uh, I think it's our player. Here we go, place the block. Just add another F as well, here. And not. Uh, wait, and object level dot grid. Wait, let's make this big. Object level dot grid. GX, GY. Sorry about that, guys. Um, does not equal air Did we? Can't quite remember. Um, yeah. Let's see. Wait, no, and that does equal that. Sorry. Let's give that a whirl. See how that works. As I said, we're doing it on the fly, so it may not work. If it doesn't, I'll just move straight onto enemies. Because that's the most important thing. It's what we're here to do. So, that's what we'll be doing. Yeah, you can't place blocks uh, on the ground. You can place them in the air. So, that's that sorted. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to copy our sprite player. Duplicate it. And we're going to call it sprite enemy. And this is going to be our enemy sprite. Just going to be exactly the same as our player, but a different color, just so we can distinguish the difference. So it's going to be a nice yellow, I think. Can't be blue because that's the color of our um, background. I made that mistake when I was trying to play around with it. So now we've made the sprite, we've sorted out the uh, blocks and stuff. We could go ahead and make our uh, our player. By the way, I think I forgot to mention, it's probably going to be a bit longer. Uh, not player, sorry, enemy. It's probably going to be a bit longer, because uh, I don't want to split it up. I want to keep it all in one go. So this may be like 20, 30 minutes. be huge. But I'm just going to keep going until I'm finished. So apologise if you're I know, using up your bandwidth or something watching this. It'll be worth your while though. When you've done it. Okay, so now we've made our uh, object, we made our sprite, we've got it all set up. Now we're going to make the code. So we're going to start off with a create event. It's actually going to be very, very similar to our player. Um, you'll see when we actually write it out. The variables, very, very similar. Initialize variables. 
we actually have a gravity like we did before, so it's going to be a uh, one. Going to have a speed of two, which is quite slow, but it's slightly uh, slower than our player. I did put fourteen, but I remember that being a lot, so I'm going to put five. That might be like not even enough to jump up, but we'll see how we go. Okay, hit speed and V speed. Gonna run exactly the same as the player does with the uh, vertical speed and the uh, the horizontal speed. EHP. It's it's HP. I call it EHP because I don't want it to get muddled up with the uh, player HP. Very important. It caused issues, I remember. And I'm just gonna give it a nice big value of like a thousand. Just so if you do do like player interaction with these enemies that they won't just immediately die you know you have a bit to work with and test okay now we're gonna make a uh, step event just a normal step we're gonna make another bit of code and this is gonna be the big one it's gonna have a lot of uh, stuff in here and you'll probably see this is very similar to the uh, whoops uh, to the player one because I basically just copied it over and edited it a bit. I'm gonna write it out um, all out for your benefit. Uh, here we go. So, Varaki, I think we did this last time or something, we made it a bit more efficient. The right key. Basically, this isn't gonna have a right key, but it's gonna have a direction. So, it's gonna be point. This is a big bit. Direction X Y object player uh, dot X object player dot Y is bigger than ninety. Wait, where's my thing gone? Uh, um, is that no? For some reason, it's not wanting to put the little symbols in. Um, oh, there it is. No mind, being stupid. Or I think we could just copy this at all. This actually make this bigger. Gonna copy all of this bit here. Over and or bigger than 270, and this means anything to the right it will fall under this category. One of them, depending on which way around it is. I'm just going to do exactly the same with the left, so we can actually just copy all this. We're going to just swap those symbols around, I believe. So it's just going to detect which is on the left and which is on the right. This so here on the left one, both has to be. Uh, they both have to be active. Okay, so that's uh, the left and the right sorted. Let's uh, move on. Exactly the same as your lump, we're going to be checking for the ground, so when it can jump for the ground. If script grid place meeting, exactly the same as the one before we did. You know, we're just looking at the block below. Um, I was seeing if it's a block, and if it is, well, we can't move any further down than that. And then jumping. Made a kind of neat little bit of AI code. I can't say it's uh, the best in the world. But basically, if there's a block there, it jumps. It's very simple. I mean, you could make it very advanced and have it checking for a player above it and blah, blah, blah. But I think that'd be pointless for something like this. You know, something just simple and a bit of fun. 
you know, none of us are going to be master code developers by the end of it. <laughs> Unless you take it further, that is. So what this is, is it saying if there's a block below us no wait, no, if there's a block to the right of us or left, I can't remember which basically if there's a block to the left or the right of us or the player is above us I believe object player dot y is bigger than our y so if it's higher than us and we're at its x so if object player x equals x did I miss something out? so basically if there's a block to our left or, or there's a block to our right or the player is directly above us we're gonna want to jump so v speed equals Minus jump speed sorted. Now we're going to go in and make our gravity exactly the same as before. Uh, no differences, I believe. Gravity if V speed bigger than 10. Where is it bigger or small? Yeah, the other way around. If V speed is uh, smaller than 10. V speed plus gravity. Okay, that's that little block there done. Now we're gonna have moving. So so far our player can just jump up and down, which really isn't that much use. I missed that anything else. Okay, is that the right way around? That doesn't look the right way around. Yeah, it's not. I've not been doing much game maker recently. I don't know if you can tell been doing other programming things so now we're going to do moving to the uh, let's do right first so if wait we could just um, if R key surely if R key yeah with that yeah, that would work. Let's just do that. Um, just do H speed equals minus speed. Just making like half of this just as we go along. Oh no, it equals speed. That's it. And you can copy this, change it to the left. So moving to the left, it's going to be the left key, and this is going to be minus speed. So that was actually really quick, fortunately, didn't go on that much. Um, now we're going to check for not moving. So check, let's just make a few lines here, oops. Press the wrong one there. So if we're not moving, um, we don't want our H speed to carry on. Oh no, wait. If if we are on at the player, what am I doing? <laughs> uh, and Y equals object player dot Y. So if we're at the player, then HP equals zero. So uh, pretty basic. We'll just move towards the player and stop. That's pretty much it. Follow us around. Do whatever you want after that. And uh, just a tiny bit more. Just a tiny bit. I mean, you could clamp it in the room. I'll leave that for now. If it if we get any issues there, I'll put that in. Uh, and then finally, we're going to script e move exactly the same as our script move, but it's going to be for our enemy. H speed 
increase speed. So that's it pretty much for our uh, enemy step and it's actually surprisingly short compared to our other one because we cut bits out and it doesn't need that much. Right, another thing we're going to do, add a draw event. Now this will come in handy later when you're kind of debugging. If you add in, um, I've forgotten what it's called now. Uh, enemies attacking, that's it. Uh, then you'll need their HP. So this will actually monitor it. And you could have it, have it in your end game. It would be pretty cool to have. Uh, so just draw the HP above your head. So draw... It's HP above its head. Oops. Habit. Um, so var yy equals y minus sprite offset on the y, y offset minus 10 var xx equals x just set now our uh, drawing variable things draw text so oh, wow uh, xx yy and then string ehp so it's just going to draw our um, hp above our head finally we're going to draw ourselves otherwise it'll cancel out okay that's our uh, all of our player done yay but now this won't work yet because we haven't made our script e move actually i believe what we can do to make this really quick is just copy our script move duplicate it but we're going to call it e move i'm going to change that to e move as well so uh, first thing we're going to do horizontal collisions it's all fine actually I think this might all just be good uh, get rid of the, my notes yeah let's just let's just run that let's pop some enemies in see how it goes so you can literally just copy the move script for some reason I, I um, left I didn't use the move script because it um, it clashed with something so I just leave it as two separate scripts also you might want to change the enemy move script let's see how this runs though so we've got some enemies now and put them in hopefully they should all chase us and should have their HP drawn up on their head so yeah there you go they're a bit laggy um, I mean, it's not much of an issue though and you can see they're clever they jump, they jump up things move quite smoothly and they'll chase us and if we do kind of jump up they jump up with us I think they're quite clever enemies so yeah I think that's what's lagging up for some reason uh, if you have that if you have that tell me because we need to sort that out but that might just be an issue that I'm having so, uh, so that's it guys that's our enemies they look pretty awesome in their yellow and uh, worked pretty well I think so that's another addition to our sandbox for you I mean I will also be doing a inventory which you can drag and drop uh, which is based off Heart Beasts one because a few people asked for that after I did my uh, first tutorial on how to make it on the GUI layer so yeah, I might, I will be probably making that quite soon. Uh, look out for that, and I will be probably making another advanced tour because I kind of really enjoyed making the sandbox one. So uh, if you like this video, just like, subscribe, or just you know do whatever you guys uh, want to do, and I will talk to you later.